Morning everyone, uh, welcome to this beautiful Friday uh, here in Brisbane. Um, I'm making this little video because I, I wrote a little article the other day and I mentioned in that that I would make um, this supporting video um, in regards to using the left hand to play the rhythm that your right hand is playing at the same time. Now this little technique I learnt off uh, a, a guy I know down in northern New South Wales, a man called Azo Bell. Um, I'm sure most or some of you that, well, especially the Australian people, um, would know of Azo. He's one of the probably better ukulele players in the world um, and um, just absolutely fantastic player. Um, but anyway, um, I learnt this little technique off him and what it actually does, it instantly makes your strumming sound more rhythmic. And not only that, it, it adds uh, a different texture to what you're playing. And one of the things that, that's an issue with a lot of ukulele players is that when they play, or well, most people, especially when they first start learning, they learn all of these open chords down here. You know, good old C is probably the first chord you learn. You know, G or G7, and then you know, F, A minor, D minor, all those chords. Um, and then once they learn them, let's say the C chord, they start strumming away and playing their songs. But the problem with those type of open chords, and as well as just holding your finger down onto the chord, uh, it doesn't allow for any break in the sound in what you're strumming. So if I'm strumming a C open chord, there's sound continually moving through the song. There's no break. And, you know, uh, my drum teacher many, many years ago, when I was about six or eight, or actually when I was about 10, he told me, um, you know, learn the value of a whole, um, which means basically what makes music sound good is the silence between the notes you play. So the silence is a part of the sound of the music. And without silence, um, you don't have um, a big distinction for what you're playing. It's just all one sound. So it's really, really, really important to add silence. And same too, you know, um, don't overplay your songs if you're a mad, crazy lead player. You know, nothing worse than hearing a person that can play really fast and lots of lead, you know, go blah, 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 all over the fretboard. You know, sounds impressive, great if you want to do it for one song in your whole night or a couple of songs, but after a while it becomes incredibly boring because there's no holes, there's no gaps. It's just one big wall of sound blah, 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 all over the joint, you know. So um, keep that in mind there's a value to playing nothing. You know, a good musician leaves a hole and infers a note or infers a, um, a chord. So what that basically means is they play less, but the way they actually play, you actually hear notes and chords that actually aren't there. You, you, they're inferred, they're what we call ghost notes. Um, but anyway, I'm getting off, off topic again here. <laughs> so um, when you... Um, actually um, leave a little gap in in the you know in your strumming if you're playing chords when you leave a little gap in between each strum um, what it does it naturally makes it more rhythmic and um, can't be achieved that well if you're playing just open chords like if I'm playing an open C and um, I start playing I can't stop the sound in between each strum to give you those little gaps because I only have my finger on one string. So I've got three strings here, have no control over whatsoever. If I hear that, it's gonna ring for ever how long the ukulele you're playing sustains for. So this works better um, on um, chords that you play that you hold your finger on all of the strings. So like in the case of this, this is a B flat shape, but up two frets, um, that becomes a C chord, and that's what we call a C inversion. Um, so if I'm playing with my right hand, if I'm going, say, you know, da 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 There's all that sound happening there and there's no gaps. To make it more interesting, more dynamic, when I'm strumming, well, what I'm doing when I'm strumming, I'm going da 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 So if I actually do that, da 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 with my left hand. So what I'm going to do is when I strum, I'm going to lift my fingers off and stop the sound. 
So how I do that is I just release the pressure off my fingers. So you have a look here. So by releasing the pressure off my fingers and actually playing the rhythm with my left hand, da 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 da, da so I'm going lifting my fingers off and I'm going da 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 I actually create little gaps in the sound. Um, so I'll play with I mean without first off and then I'll start playing that rhythm with my left hand so you get an idea what it sounds like. So this is without. Now I'll actually play that same rhythm that I'm doing on my right hand with my left hand and have a listen what it sounds. So instantly it becomes more rhythmic. It's actually got more interest. With, this is without. Now with. So if I play it, that's with, I play without. Now with. So as you can see, um, by putting my fingers down, I actually, I play with my left hand exactly what I'm doing on my right. So if I'm going da 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 da, I'm going da 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 putting my fingers on and off, on and off, on and off, really quickly. So, um, makes it all sound a lot better, then, and then you're also starting to create little gaps in the sound, which, um, is more musical in, on many levels. So I hope this little video has helped you to understand that little practice and um, give it a go. Just start. I mean, you can use it with open chords, you know, like your G chord, it will work, but even though if you're hitting this G note, G string, that's going to ring, but it still sounds... sounds better. So anyway, I hope that's helped. Um, have a good day. Bye. Um, and if you're wondering, I'm playing one of my uh, Barren River Ukes, which I believe are probably one of the best uke brands in the world. They play good. They sound good. i uh, got the best sustain and note separation of any uke I've ever heard. And I've played just about every brand. So um, if you're in the market for a wonderful uh, high-end custom ukulele, then you, know, you won't go wrong with a Barren River. This happens to be a 16-inch scale concert made with Master Grade Alaskan Spruce with uh, Tasmanian Tiger Myrtle back and sides. So, anyway, thank you. Bye.